مشاهدينا الكرام اهلا وسهلا فيكم بحلقه جديده وحلقه مميزه من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الاعمال مثل ما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف رجلا مميز ومن زاويه رجال الاعمال الاكثر تميزا رحبوا معي بالسبيشال بزنس مان السي اي او لشركه سمارت سورس تريدنج مستر عبد الحنان بدايه جود افترنون بوس جود افترنون هاو ار يو مستر الحمد لله الحمد yes. لله ان ذا فيرست الحمد لله ان ذا فيرست اي ام ريلي سو هابي بيكوز اي ام هير ان يور بليس رايت ناو اي وود لايك تو ميت يو اند ليت ذا فيورز از ويل نو اباوت يور بروفيشنال لايف وين يو كيم هير تو اي هاو يو سيت اب يور بزنس بسم الله فيرست اوف اول Uh, I would like to thank you for taking our time Thanks. to meet us. Our pleasure. This all this journey started back from home in India. Mm-hmm. First, uh, when my brother went for his masters in US, mm-hmm. when, while studying, he came into people trading with electronics and all, and that mm-hmm. was the time when the electronics actually started booming. Mm-hmm. For the in fact actually for the developing countries it was that time 2004 2005 mm-hmm. when we really got into it it equipment mm-hmm. and the awareness towards technical technology was booming into in the developing countries like us one uh, like india and all mm-hmm. so he started getting into this field and uh, as he acquired knowledge i'm see i'm very close to my brother yes, in the sense course. that uh, he used to call me uh, during his uh, i mean his his night time was our day time and his uh, his free time at, during his free time our parents would not be available for you know to receive the calls so he used to transfer that knowledge uh, uh, during that time mm-hmm. i was i was completing my studies back in india mm-hmm. until then so when when he completed his masters he got into this full fledged electronic trading mm-hmm. of laptops and mobile phone yeah. yeah by that time i had completed my engineering from uh, the bhopal madhya pradesh mm-hmm. and then uh, my brother actually uh, came to, uh, came to dubai for a visit mm-hmm. and he looked around and uh, he saw a scope here mm-hmm. of trading as well as as a scope in the business in this business so he he came in here for the first 6 months he he loved the country he, he loved, he loved the, the country place. he yes, loved the course. country see b- there are many factors of that first and foremost is the security and safety yeah. and the opportunities that one one gets for the business to flourish It's there is land, there land. is yeah. see one thing our parents made it very clear there is no alternate to hard work mm-hmm. but what you can do is reduce the hurdles as much as possible mm-hmm. and that is very well done in this country i mean thanks to the government and to the society that has developed yes. as such uh, now as a result of their efforts and a, a collective responsibility that they have yes. taken on themselves that they have reduced the hurdles that come in the way of uh, in fact the small businesses that that can't uh, uh, you know endure that much mm-hmm. in their growing phase Mm-hmm. so that that was done here mm-hmm. so by 2013 we started with al masadir al zakia mm-hmm. this company was incorporated here and uh, we started with electronics trading yes so this is the question mr abdul al hanan i want to ask you about the services what you provide al masadir zakia electronic what you provide to e market and to the world and if you have export import tell us more about this field fadal yes see uh, we are a group of four companies mm-hmm. and uh, two of which deal into mobile phones mm-hmm. and uh, two are for laptops desk- de- and desktop systems mm-hmm. the model of our business is the same for uh, mm-hmm. for all the four wa- four companies we collect the goods from U- united states and other progress i mean already developed markets like united states united kingdom australia and all we import the goods from there we take open boxes we take uh, used products we take uh, uh, as a customer returns yes. Yes. yes we have a team there they collect it from the various universities also the universities who upgrade their systems they have mm-hmm. to uh, you know uh, seek out the old ones so mm-hmm. we we take it from them 
as a container and we import it here in the UAE. Mm -hmm. What's what? the step it will be here inside your company? The step what you are doing to the, uh, to the source mm -hmm. what you provide to UAE market? We actually purchase it from there. Mm -hmm. The two benefits, the, the source that is the, the vendors from which we purchase this lot, they get is one is they get a good value of their product. The mm -hmm. one they are going to discard in a way, they yeah. get a good value for that. Second, we handle this very responsibly. See, I am a student of information technology. I have done my uh, engineering in, in computer science. Bravo, wow. And uh, I know the ethical parts of this business also. So the first and foremost being the data. Mm -hmm. The products that we collect, they do contain hard drives in, the, in them. And, and and there are other forms of data available so what we do is from as as our responsibility we ensure data wiping complete we ensure that in every way possible and once uh, and this is a huge benefit for the for our vendors as well because there might be little uh, or uh, some differences in the laws of various countries but in general all the countries and all the governments wants uh, want their uh, vendors or your or their uh, IT firms to ensure that their data privacy is maintained, data is secured, and it's a it's a part of our responsibility towards the, towards the society. Of course, of that course. we do not endanger someone's mm -hmm. data. That that we you know ensure the, the privacy of the data. So the vendors get these two benefits from us. Once we get the products imported here at a warehouse. We then our actual process starts. Mm -hmm. there, that is where the, our team comes into play. That is where our effort of all these years comes comes into play. Mm -hmm. What we do is we received a mixed lot. Mi we received the products in mixed lots. Mm -hmm. So first of all, there is a team who which segregates the products based on various categories that we have. One the fir first and foremost being separating it out based on the brands like HP, Dell, Apple. Mm -hmm. There are other categories the now which, which come into play based on the experience. For example, the customer requirements. For example, we have a major chunk of customers who belong to a particular region in the world. And their, their, their preference is, for example, HP or Dell. So they just want Dell or HP products. So they will separate it out. From uh, My team will separate out the product based on that requirement mm -hmm. so there are various categories based on this mm -hmm. separation is done <laughs> once the separation is done we uh, our sales team gets into contact with the customers mm -hmm. because because we we are not a, yeah, our business model is not a regular business model mm -hmm. it's not we don't come into contact with our customers only after a product a finished product is available for display mm -hmm. we are in continuous collaboration with them because we are focused on refurbishing and reconditioning. Mm -hmm. So what we aim is to refurbish or customize the product if the customer requires it. And so that requires his involvement from the first step. Mm -hmm. So once the product is separated out, we get into touch with the customers. Most of them come and visit us. Some based on our trust value that have developed over the years, they just you know, maintain our contact uh, over the phone or WhatsApp. They just yes. uh, take the pictures. <coughs> we send them. We send them all the necessary information, and then they uh, let uh, they tell us what they actually need. Mm -hmm. That can be the starting with the basics like uh, the configuration with which they need the finished product. For example, a normal laptop they need it with a 8 GB RAM or a 4 GB RAM or the storage capacity whatever, they need it, whatever, whatever they need it. So our sales team jogs down the requirement of mm -hmm. each and every customer, the quantity they need it and a job card is placed. Mm -hmm. Then the, the product goes for for the verification. Mm -hmm. Now there's our next team that comes into play that is product verification team. Now they actually don't check whether the product is working or not, they check for the faults in the product. Mm -hmm. Whether it's uh, what what is missing? I mean, what is missing? What is not working? Mm -hmm. Because then, if 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 they focus on working, then they will miss out something, and the customer end user will realize it later. Mm -hmm. So they they look for the faults. Mm -hmm. 
they look for all the software related issues mostly it should be 100 percent it should be 100 percent working mm -hmm. not only not only software related i mean not in terms of software 100 percent working Even hardware, hardware also yes. it should be uh, uh, you know, displayable. It's look like yeah. a new one. It, it's n if, yes, it's yes. a new one. It's a yes, new one. It's, it's a new one. Yes. So uh, yes, I will just uh, ask you one more question about this. Uh, just point. one yeah. thing, one point I want to add. Mm -hmm. See, uh, like you said, it should look like a new one. What we try to ensure is no one should feel ashamed of taking a used or refurbished laptop. Oh. He should. Mm -hmm. I mean, he should ca carry it with the same you know ethos like mm -hmm. like a new one yes of because course. yeah of course so uh, mr abdul hanan there is competitive here in uae market so it's not easy to be success in our field if we are not a special company or we mm -hmm. are not a special uh, team let us to say experience qualification uh, it depends about the years of uh, company here so how you make yourself special and how you success and continue in this field see uh, all this what i am going to say next shouldn't come out as something i'm claiming mm -hmm. you know uh, i don't like to claim but yes we what we strive towards is developing a good work culture within our company because it is that work culture that re reflects back into our services mm -hmm. Now, wh now what you ask is the difference in what we provide and how we are different from others. First and foremost being, we give the customer a, a much more extended warranty than the businesses in this field do. Mm -hmm. Not to brag about it, just to bring to your notice mm -hmm. during this uh, COVID period. So most of the flights were uh, off uh, and, not, and, yeah. and the trans I mean, transportation was not easy. So we gave the, our customers two years of warranty. Oh. In, a, in a refurbishing business, that's unimaginable. The maximum people give is one month. Yes. The usual that we give is three months. Even after the end user uses it for more than a one month. See, our, our customer purchases it. He then in turn resells it. Then some end user uses it after mm -hmm. for maybe one, one and a half month. Then he comes across, this is not working or I messed up with it. I dropped mm -hmm. some water in it. We are mm -hmm. by your side. Oh. We are by your side. If, some, if it's something no, that is non-intentional and something manageable, we are here. We stand by our product. Bravo. That's why you have a good name. You built a good name. Alhamdulillah. Here. Alhamdulillah. 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 We hope from ABC Arabia TV for you, Mr. Abdul Hanan, and for Al Masadir and the Kia Electronic to grow more and more and to be in a high level because you deserve to be success in your life. Now, what's your plan in the future? Because when you start in 2013, it's not like that. Maybe you start with yeah. uh, some place, a small one. Now we are 200 employee, more than Alhamdulillah. 200. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So uh, after two years, where we will be arrived? Uh, see, as I mentioned, you men you said correctly. When we started in 2013, we were in a much a much smaller place and much less guys. Mm -hmm. Now, we are moving towards a bigger organization with a varied structure. Yes. Probably. Earlier, what it's it's not a joke. Me and my brother, all of us used to do every work in the warehouse. I mean. Still, still there. Bravo. I, that's yeah. why your success. Yeah. Because you're on yeah. the head that's, of your work. That's what. That's what I was mentioning. Uh, when I said work culture, I meant that when we hire an employee, we just we just test him whether whether he can do everything or not. Mm -hmm. Everything means it's not uh, just uh, you know cleaning and all that. You might be very good educated. You might might be highly qualified, but some basic necessities of life mm -hmm. they need to be incorporated. For example, standing by your colleague in his tough time. Now that uh, for the past two, three years, all of us have a new outlook, obviously, for yeah. towards, the li towards life. <laughs> so the, it, it's more understandable now. So see, my brother and me both are, alhamdulillah, well, well educated and qualified. We, but the, the field in which we are in, mm -hmm. the, the, the staff that we have, most of them are not that much educated. Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't get that much time for education or maybe they're not, uh, you know, well versed with the, uh, uh, 
what you can say ethics of the of, of this business mm -hmm. so we try to have them trained well trained not just not just physically yes obviously yes, physical yes, yes, is a course, is a part of, of this course, but of course, because wow. the weather here is different from their native countries yes. and all so physical training is important but other than that we have to we have to make them aware of the ethics of this business also yes bravo and this helps them you know to uh, to reduce this uh, competitiveness in this business mm -hmm. and uh, and strive towards competence mm -hmm. not competitiveness yes so yes. that's our uh, that's a plan for the future to build a team that we that will help us to expand we mm -hmm. started from a small place now alhamdulillah we have six warehouses about 200 wow. people working there we have retail outlets alhamdulillah we are a group of four companies and going good for the future yes we are we are uh, trying our best to expand we we will try to you know get better in terms of quality as Inshallah. much as possible Inshallah. why not hear nothing impossible in you yeah yes yes now now not just the quantity quantity is a part of it but as as i said we stand by a product and we give this warranty because we are looking for quality bravo so bravo. we will go for that for future we are moving towards a corporate structure in our company mm -hmm. so we are trying to develop a work culture in which that the team that we currently ha have should stand by it as they are standing by each other right now mm -hmm. this is not not to just brag but alhamdulillah for the, for the past three years have been tough for most of the businesses mm -hmm. but alhamdulillah we have ensured that all of our not just employees even the customers which are which were regulars we ensure that everything is fine they at their home whenever they needed in whatever way we can we could help them not just financially with medical advices with Bravo. everything Bravo. so Bravo. so this not this is not what we did we are developing this into our team for future we want that our team to continue new this and you know expand this eventually eventually yes. Yes, Marshall. because would have I have been into corporate as well. I worked for an IT company for a short period for for an ex, for experience, mm -hmm. and what what I saw was as the size of the company grows, the morals come down, and the uh, and you know the main focus is the financial part. Mm -hmm. We have to we have to control that. Of course, of course, Mashallah. I will thank you, Mr. Abdul Hanan about the way how you think about the people about your company about the management also also we will send our regards from our tv to mr aman, aman Khan. he's also your brother and to all of your brother to all of your team because they deserve the definitely, other one who definitely. will work uh, really i'm so happy because i meet you today inshallah our relation will grow and we inshallah, will next inshallah, time you will inshallah. come in our studio inshallah. inshallah before we end our program just want to take from your side some message to our leadership and the president of uae because also they deserve to, to thank them because they provide to us the facilities opportunity the definitely service. yeah definitely we will it's start not from smart source electronic and from mr abdul hanan as a ceo of the company Fadal. In, in fact, it's not a message, but a heartfelt thank, thank you note to the leadership of UAE mm -hmm. for not just providing us very good or best facilities around, available around, but for their efforts in achieving to, to you know, develop a society where this kind of work culture, this kind of uh, culture has developed, where flourishing of business is not so difficult. Yes. As, as I do mention, there is no alternate to hard work everyone does does work hard who who knew, who you know who sets up a business who has a goal in life he works hard but the difference comes in where there, there is a less number of hurdles so the, the leadership here has ensured that they minimize the hurdles here yes. for any small businessman you can come with nothing in your hand but just a great idea and and a will to succeed and inshallah you will have the best opportunity as well as the best facilities in uae to achieve you achieve whatever you desire 
of course i will thank you mr abdul hanan to your message inshallah i hope uh, it will uh, reach to our leadership and the government of uae inshallah. also from our channel will thank them we will thank you to accept us here in your special company inshallah always will see you in a high level and in the top and we hope for you also to be number one in the middle east not only here in uae because you deserve that now before we end our program just want to take the location to the our viewers where we are now in Sharjah the location for the users is industrial area 5 Sharjah industrial area 5 opposite to macro supermarket yes we have a series of warehouses here and you can see the board or in fact Alhamdulillah we have good uh, access in the market we are accessible throughout the market you can just call out the name for Al Masadir and you can reach here it's just opposite to macro supermarket and uh, other than that for Dubai pe uh, people from Dubai who who find it too far away they can reach us at, at Dubai airport free zone warehouse G14 yes. and C22 yes very good so my dear viewers the contacts number down of our screen with a website of a smart uh, source uh, electronic trading Al Masadr al Dakiya electronic I will thank you again mister for your time as well thank, thank you Jazakallah khair مشاهدينا الكرام إلى هنا نختم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع تابعونا Friday and Saturday on ABC Arabia TV and social media دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله